last year when I was interviewing Olivia Newton-John, the cancer activist, she says we're not victims and we're not survivors. In fact, we're much more than that, we're thrivers. Because survivors Perfect. give that kind of, <sighs> kind of fatalistic feeling that, you know, I'm just barely there, I just survived. But thrivers means I'm going forward, she says, and, and taking it forward and, and taking it into my own hands and going forward. But in order to take okay. it into their own hands, that's where all of us, you, me, and everybody comes in. Because it's very kind of like wrong, I think, and condescending to ask someone living with HIV AIDS to, to be brave if you don't give them the support of the right. community. No, and, it, and it, it links in very much also, I think, to diversity. It's the sort of the same type of, of um, world view we need, the same way of treating each other, that uh, your success is my success, so I would like to help you. I would like to help the people around me. If we're able to to uh, create that type of, of um, supporting attitude, uh, I think that would go a long way in fighting stigma and discrimination. So, you know, we are part of this organization called 2031, which some people may or may not realize is 50 years from 1981. We're not talking about predicting the future, we're talking about making our future. I asked, someone asked me recently in an interview, and they said, what, what would you like to see in 2031? And mine is simple, whether it's attainable or not, is that there would be no one living here with HIV AIDS at all. In, in, and of course, I mean, 2031 is probably not going to happen. But a bit beyond that, I mean, you never know. No, of you? course it will. Yeah, at some point that will happen, I'm, I'm convinced. That's the world we want, right? Exactly. <laughs> okay.